come back. Yes, you are back with your boy Scotch. Yes, we're in the Master League premiere right now. And as per usual, we have our Snorlax cowboy hat shiny flexing on the lead. We're faced up against the floor just and we don't mind this. They're offloading Moonblast. They don't get a attack drop on us, so we're looking good here. We can offload that body slam. And then they dip out into their Snorlax. So we're gonna superpower and look to dip. Let's see if they wanna shield this. They should know we're going for superpower. They let that go, that does some good damage, doesn't it? And then we come in with Gyarados. And they're gonna be offloading energy here. Just a body slam, that's absolutely fine. We have to be careful though, because if we're too healthy, that floor just will come back in and just farm up so much on our Gyarados. So just stretching out the time a bit here and then offloading the Aquatel. Hopefully we can get off another Akito and then offload another as they decided to shield. So I don't know why they wanted to shield there, but that's absolutely fine for us. They double shield, okay? They want they want um switch. It looks like they must be rocking maybe double fairy. Who knows? Let's see what the vibe is. Because we're getting ahead on energy. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. They needed to make sure that their Haxorus wasn't aligned to a fairy. If that makes more sense. And that's absolutely fine because we have the shield advantage, of course, as we uh, still have two shields and they have none. You can already see where this one is heading. The way they were playing was confusing me. I was trying to think if there was double weak or or what the vibe was, but it just made sense that you wanted to protect their Haxorus. I mean, if Haxorus gets locked into a fairy, especially using Charm, they're just, yeah, they basically have no play unless they're running EQ and EQ takes a lot of energy. They'll just be getting mashed up in that time. But anyway, that is gonna be a wrap. That will be GG's. Of course, we're going for the bad manners with the Focus Blast here, cause why not? But GG's each and every time. Alright. Taking that W and moving swiftly into the next one. Alright. Okay, Toga Kiss shiny flexing on the lead. We have our Snorlax shiny flexing. So it's a shiny flex off here, but we know who will prevail. So Gonna offload a body slam here. See what they're feeling like. They decide to show that, okay. Okay, okay. We're gonna offload another body slam here. And then see what the vibe is. We might want to make, well, we we're thinking about making a play to catch, but they throw early, so it's just ancient power. So that's absolutely fine with us. We can go for another body slam, see what they wanna do. The vibe here. We could swap into Gold Dingo if we feel to, and that is the play. That is what we're going for. And then, before they get farmed all the way down, they swap it into Haxorus, and we're going to get off an en energy here before they get to a charge move. What do they want to do? Double up on shields? No, they let that go, and that does big damage. Let's go, man. <laughs> they go for Night Slash. It does decent damage. Can we get the full farm down? They may get to a charging move here. They do. We can show them farm down if we feel to. And that is what we're gonna do. And then they come back in with Togekiss. We've got some energy, like nice energy, which is crucial. So we will be shielding it up, even though it's just ancient power. We bank that energy there and swap out into our own Gyarados. So it's a Gyarados mirror match right now. All right, they go for the crunch. They don't get a defense drop on us. We're gonna go for a crunch of our own and possibly get a, a defense drop on them. No, okay. Let's see what the vibe is. Do they wanna go for Aquatel? It looks like they will. We're gonna go for Aquatel here. 
and we survive it and get off of Akwatova own. So that's a wrap for them because this will either take them out or grab the last shield. Grabs the last shield. Now we can just come and go dingo, finish them off with a shadow ball, and that will be GG's. You already know what the vibe is. Come on, man. Just like that. Come on. Come on. We're going to move swiftly into the next one. Okay. Let's get him. All right, faced up against Excadro. Okay. We always try to be cautious how we play this one because Excadro are like, they like to offload energy and then run away. So we've got to be careful of potential catch. So let's see what they want to do here. All right. We throw it in the middle of their animation, offload in the body slam bait, and they call the bait. <laughs> they call the bait there. Uh, yeah. Alright, obviously we can take another drill when we do. And now we're offering superpower and they probably decide to shield it now. Let's see. No, they let it go. Okay, interesting. Interesting, interesting. Now they come with Gyarados. So they didn't feel like protecting their extra drill. That's fine. Alright, offload the body slam before the snort goes down. Now we can come into the Gyarados mirror. See what the vibe is, what do they have in the back? Alright, we definitely won't mind it being a Metagross, that's for sure. Metagross or a Fairy, Goldingo won't mind seeing them. So let's see what the vibe is. Now they swap and it is a Fairy, it is Togekiss and this one's a wrap. Goldingo easily destroys Toga Kiss. We're offloading Shadow Ball here. They're obviously going to shield. And they do. Okay. Alright, we're going to shield up here also. Ancient Power, that's absolutely fine. Overloading on energy right now. And then we're going for another Shadow Ball. You should grab another shield, which is their last shield. And now we offload another Shadow Ball. This one will be taking out the Togekiss. Bye bye. And then we can just farm down the Gyarados. That's GG's, just like that. Nicely done, nicely. All right, into the next one. Let's go. Faced up against another Togekiss. This one's on the lead. Alright, let's see what the vibe is here, let's see what they want to do. Right, like, Snorlax is always comfortable here with this matchup, so just gotta see what they wanna do, but we know what we do. You get me? We off they throw in early. Okay, that's absolutely fine with us. This is gonna be ancient power. That's fine for us. And now we can just overload. Overload. And now offload another body slam. Okay, how they feeling? They let that go. And then we offload another. Are they gonna shield here? Let's see. No, they let it go. Okay, what are they coming in with? It's Haxor, so we swap out straight away into our Gyarados. We ain't trying to let them farm down. They're shiny flexing. We're gonna shield that breaking sweat. And now they swap out into their own Gyarados. It's a Gyarados mirror match right now. So we're offloading that crunch early. Let's get that defense drop. We do. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. And they're offloading a crunch of their own. They get a defense drop on us. Now we're going to go for another crunch. They might fancy shielding this. No, they let it go. Okay, that's good for us. We get another defense drop on them. All right, now we come in Goldingo. We're looking to go for that farm down. We're definitely looking to go for that farm down. And we showed the Aquatel. We're trying to get enough energy ready here. And they knew what we were trying to do, so they swap out into their Haxorus. So we're going to offload the Shadow Ball on it. They showed that, of course. 
And they're just stacking, trying to get to that next shadow ball. Could be a potential catch opportunity here, you know, if we time it well. But instead, we just get to the charge move before they get one off. That will wrap up the hacks for us. And then we should be able to just farm down the Gyarados and that will be GG's. No catch needed. G to the G, nicely done. All right, taking up W, moving swiftly into the last one. All right, faced up against a Mamma Swine. Okay. This one is also similar to playing against Excadrill on the lead. Like, Mamma Swine is glossy just like Excadrill. And they also might wanna catch, and they did try to catch, but they just hard swapped anyway. Offload the energy and swap out. Um, or sometimes they'll just shield on the lead, just like an Excadrill, because those are glassy, so they might wanna offload energy and just get out of there. Um, but they swapped out to their Metagross and their Metagross was met by our Gold Dingo and they have no play against our Gold Dingo so they let it go and now they bring in their third which is Shiny Gyarados we're offloading Shadow Ball, they shield that okay how we feeling like we let go of the crunch then we get to another charge move yes we can how they feeling like here? Goldingo putting in work, you know. Alright. Okay, and now it's a Gyarados mirror match. We have two shields, they have none. You can already see where this one is heading. We're still not making use of the shield. You can run, but you can't hide. <laughs> a two shield. Flex. All right, offloading the body slam here. This will take out the Mama Swine. Let's go, and then they top left, and that's GG's two shield flex for the win. And that was the last battle. So thank you guys for coming by once again. You all take care now. Peace.